Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XDC. But before I get started, please click the like and subscribe button as it helps this channel grow very quickly. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great world. We're going to talk about XDC. I'm going to start with this. Great motivation to keep building. Let's wait for the next new things. 5,500 plus XDC domains. That's big news. It shows direct ties to Web3 for XDC. Electronic health records on XDC network with Ply. Plug-in data oracles. Now I've said it multiple times on this channel. That if your cryptocurrency deals with the healthcare system in any way, it's going to be very big. Think about it. We all need healthcare at some point in our lives. If your network is tied to that, it's going to be valuable. I'm actively involved in the creation of open source dApps on XDC, and so can you. Any ideas? Dapps or tools contributed to the XDC open source community all help to grow the network, as well as the development of new projects to support the network. Again, if your cryptocurrency is not continuing to grow, you need a new cryptocurrency. XDC is continually expanding the network, new partnerships, new innovation coming on board, things like that, NFTs, ties to Web3, ties to Metaverse. I'm convinced that hate for specific useful coins revolve around these specific things. Ignorance, lack of research, tribalism, my coin is better, trolling, a lot for this one, jealousy, missed out, etc. Pure hatred because God knows why. Now, here's the thing. This kind of pisses me off, and I said it in a Q&T video yesterday. You'll see all sort of FUD all around certain cryptocurrencies, most of them ISO coins. And a lot of times it's people that either sold at a loss and they're mad or it's just people that hate these coins for some reason or another. But the bad part of it is this. Now, if you're in the XDC community and you're spewing FUD, most people have been holding XDC for a while. They know its value, its use case, its utility. But then a new investor comes in. And he's looking to buy XDC and he sees this FUD and he says to himself, I don't think I should buy this. This guy's saying it's a huge scam or there's problems with it. So he doesn't buy in. Now he misses out on one of the greatest buying opportunities out there. He's not going to be part of the new financial system, the fourth industrial revolution. He can miss out on a massive amount of wealth because of people like this talking about cryptocurrencies like they're a scam coin most likely because the price isn't moving we see new partnerships new expansions to the network upgrades to the network yet the price doesn't move that scares a lot of people and the thing is other people they just get aggravated from holding so long and the price not moving. They thought they would invest at 8 o'clock in the morning. And by 4 o'clock in the afternoon. They were going to be super rich and cash out. When that doesn't happen. People get frustrated. And then they get impatient. Then they sell. They take a loss and so on. But the thing is. You just got to know. At what XDC is all about. It does, it's not hard to see what's going to happen very soon. A lot of people are going to get very rich. We are early people, stay the course. Professional finance advisors are not educated properly on, on crypto. The USA is shooting themselves in the foot. 1.5% on a retirement plan cannot compete with 5% APY average with crypto staked on chain. Hold the line. That's the thing, you try to talk to your bank about crypto. I want you to try it just once. Most of the time, the manager has no idea what crypto is. Or they know what it is and they want you to stay away from it for some reason or another. 
They'll say, oh, it's too volatile. You don't want to get into that. You'll lose money. Oh, the bank doesn't really like to talk about crypto because we don't see it as a good investment for you. I say this also about financial advisors. Because if you call your financial advisor and talk to them about crypto, and they have no idea what you're talking about, you have the wrong financial advisor. Then we see this. This was before R3 and Ripple lawsuit in 2018. After the settlement, two years later, NASDAQ announced R3 was going DeFi with XDC. One after that in 2021, XDC was named Settlement Token R3 unannounced by Coindesk. And we see it right here. Sorry, my voice is rough today. I don't feel too good, so bear with me. Ripple and R3 settle legal disputes, so we know that's done and over with. Then we see this, R3 Corda Network set to go DeFi with XDC Digital Currency. Now we know XDC is the settlement token for R3. People still will try to say that it's going to be XRP that moves all of the money in the world. It's really not. XDC is going to move a lot amount, a lot of that money also. XLM will move a lot of that money too. It's going to be split up over all of these cryptocurrencies that are part of ISO 222. So think about it like that, okay? Massive amounts of money spread out over all of these cryptos. That's why I tell you to diversify. Put a little bit in each of them. Hold a little bit. It doesn't matter. Maybe you could stake one of them, earn more money, passive income. Maybe then you could sell one of them. Who knows? It, whatever your plans are. But it's better to hold a little bit of each than a whole bunch of one. Then we see this. There is utility all over this project. Check out this announcement from LedgerMail.xdc. So they partnered with XDC Domains for interconnecting Zinfin official community. You will be able to sign up to LedgerMail with XDC NFT Domains. Securely communicate with other XDC NFT domain holders. That's a very good partnership. And we see this XDC Frontier Wallet iOS users can now track any XDC wallet, connect their existing wallets, create new wallets, send, receive, and trade XDC tokens, and engage with dApps. We keep seeing these new wallets popping up for all of these cryptocurrencies. The ISO coins, every one of them I looked at has some sort of new wallet out, making it easier for you to buy crypto, the right crypto, and store it. Then we see this. Iranian Asso Association calls for stable crypto regulation as government plans widespread use of crypto in foreign trade. To me, that screams out XDC. Now, other people are saying, oh, XRP will be involved in that also. No matter what news comes up on Twitter, you can bet somehow, some way, they'll tie XRP to it. If it's payments, guaranteed XRP. If it's trade, XRP. But the thing is, people overlook a lot of things. Like XD XDC is trade, in my opinion. If I see the word trade, the next thing I do is start looking for ties to XDC. And the trade industry is going to continue to grow over time, get bigger and bigger. Plus, XDC can fix our supply chain. I'm probably going to make another video tomorrow on XDC and talk about it a little bit more. Because there's a lot of things I'm seeing as far as supply chain. I'm seeing things talked about with XDC for transactions tokenization of different aspects of trade things like that it continues to grow and expand if people don't see the value in xdc they're just going to miss out they have to be blind to it at this point i think a lot of people overlook it because the price is so low well can never hit xrp's price because look at the difference in price right now you can never go off of that Say we went on a full-blown utility run right now. I believe XDC could easily hold its own against XRP in value. 
because XDC has a lot more ties. Trade is bigger than people think. It's a very small word, but it's a massive industry. That's what you got to keep in the back of your mind. With that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.